To get started, choose your term here on the left, in my case, Spring-Summer 2018. If you're already enrolled in courses, your current schedule will be preloaded into my timetable right here. From there, you can add and remove courses. If you'd like to start from scratch, scroll down over that list and select Start Over to clear the selected courses. In the Select Course box, start by typing any of the following options, class number, title, instructor. For example, I know I'd like to take English 1AA3, so I can type that in, and hit enter, and it automatically populates my list. I also know that I need a Chemistry 1, so there it is, Chem A03, and I will also add one more class, my Microeconomics class, there it is, Econ 1B03. So now that I've added my courses, you'll notice that automatically on the right-hand side of my screen, I get both a list here and the grid view here. Once my courses are all added, I can sort all my options on this right-hand side, and I can add and remove courses on this left-hand side of the screen. I can toggle classes on and off by selecting these checkboxes. This is helpful to play around with different potential schedules, or I can simply remove the class by hovering over the X. You can also see additional information available by clicking Show More. Open the details and you'll see for each course you can review the catalog description, including requirements and prerequisites, or remove any sections that you're certain you don't wish to consider. I'll leave them all selected. Remember, you can always find course requirements and prerequisites in McMaster University's academic calendar. Once you've entered all the courses you want, you can shift your attention to the results panel here on the right, where all the timetable options are shown. You can add some filtering options to help prioritize these timetables and zero in on the one that meets your needs. Have some really specific time constraints like work or other commitments? For instance, you work on Wednesday and Thursday mornings. Click and drag to block out those times. This won't remove any timetables. It just reorders the results so the ones that work best with your personal time constraints are at the top of the list. This way, you can see all the options to make an informed decision about what works best for you. Click the top left arrow to jump back to the beginning of the list. To remove a time block, just click it. When you find a particular class you want to keep, just click to pin it down, and the list will eliminate any timetable options that don't include your pin course. You can click to pin right at the time grid or here at the list of courses. The system will hold the class constant and sort other combinations again. Just click again to unpin. When you've decided on a timetable, review the center list that shows all the course catalog information. You can see the course title, its code, the time it meets, the professor, the place, and so on. You can also review the start and end dates below the grid to see what your term looks like. If you scroll over the timetable, watch for any warnings here. It will tell you if you've chosen a timetable that overlaps with any time you may have blocked out. You will also see a warning if you have selected too many or too few units, or if you were registered for classes and the timetable you're reviewing does not contain those classes. Before your enrollment appointment opens, it's a good idea to build several timetables. That way, when enrollment opens, you won't have to start from scratch to build a timetable. Save it as a favorite by clicking the Favorites button at the top of the Results panel. A preview image appears on the upper right to let you know you have saved a timetable. When you come back later, you can easily find this timetable and check the availability of these courses. You can also pull up your favorites here on the right and compare them to your other options as you scroll through to make sure you've really found the best timetable to meet your needs. At any point during the timetable creation process, I can click the Tips button here to see four quick tips in a yellow box that uh, remind me of key features and facilitate an easy introduction for new users. If you look here in the upper right, you will see it says include schedules containing closed classes and online classes. You can select and deselect these options. Because we are in a summer semester and there are only a few classes offered for each course, these sort preferences make little difference. If you select a sort preference from the drop-down menu, say for example morning classes, the system attempts to reorder your timetable combinations offering as many classes as possible in the morning. Click the arrows at the top or use the arrow keys on the keyboard to scroll through your schedule options. If you hold down the arrow keys, the system will speed scroll through the results to give you a nice clear visual of where your classes might fall on the timetable. If you're on a tablet or mobile device, you can simply swipe right or left to look through your options.